that and more coming up next. Well, the Skies certainly aren't cooperating, Bronk, but for a lot of those guys on the fields, this is perfect football weather. And as we welcome you to another presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time. Ball is teed up. Chris Boswell to do the honors. And we're off from Eckersher. Here's Tylen Wallace on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. So the Ravens offense taking over for the first time here. And then brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game, it's Lamar Jackson. A decade plus before Lamar, it was a guy named Michael Vick who was the standard for dual threat quarterbacks. Well, today, that standard's Lamar Jackson, who at his best is an MVP caliber player, the most exciting player, not just at his position, but in all of football. And don't let that running overshadow the strides he's made as a passer to in the pocket and as a franchise quarterback to build upon. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They send a man in motion. This is Henry on second. It looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. Tackling like his dad, Joey Porter Jr. making that play. Now Jackson on third down. He has the first over the middle. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. First down, here's Lamar. Pass into the hands of Mark Andrews. He gets it forward for a gain of three. Patrick Queen ranging in for the tackle. Tackle stops him after a solid game. And the Steelers go in nickel, third down. Putting a receiver in motion. Third and two, here's Jackson. He's going deep this time. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done, incomplete. The Ravens gonna punt this away, and here's Jordan Stout to handle that boot. He was only needed twice in last week's win, and he gets this one away. And oh, just a hair too much on that kick. The punt lands in the end zone. This one's coming out to the 20. So here are the Steelers now, taking over for the first time. Leading them out, a man in his 13th NFL season and rising quickly up the career leaderboards, Russell Wilson. A win is a win for him. Whether he goes for 400 yards and five touchdowns, Kate, or maybe he just finds the end zone once, like last week. And being the team first guy he is, he'd be more than happy to end the game with just one touchdown pass, or maybe even no touchdown passes, so long as they get the win in the end. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. First carry for the versatile vet, Cordero Patterson. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. On the carry, this is Najee Harris. Runs into traffic and hits a wall. No gain. Give that tackle to Broderick Washington. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. The give to Patterson out of the shotgun. And the push forward doesn't get beyond the line. Tackled on the play by Marlon Humphrey. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. So now they're going to throw with Wilson. Chased out to his right. Ravens swoop it in, and they bring him down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. I think his decision-making wrote a check that his legs couldn't catch this time. This QB could run, and he's ranging, looking for space, looking for an outlet, but there was none to be had. No escape route available this time. So a punt coming up on fourth down, and it's against Belgium native Corliss Waitman with the honors. 
Surprisingly, he had to punt five times in last week's win, and he sends this away. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. The Ravens send Lamar Jackson ready to go again on offense. And among dual threats in the NFL so far this season, there has been no equal. He's leading all quarterbacks in rushing yards to this point. Drive starts with an option, right side. And he found some running room for a nice game. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. The difference right there, Kate, between that gain and a big hit for a loss, some really quick decision making. He made a quick read, saw the running back was going to get hit if he handed it, and he pulls it himself for a positive gain. And the Steelers get home, they drop him! And that pushes him back, third down coming up. Pretty even match in this first half, and you're just kind of waiting. But you just kind of try to get a feel for which defense is going to come to life. And when you get that sack, that could go a long way to infusing some energy on that side of the ball. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Shotgun snap to Jackson. Getting out to his left. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him. Calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Complete Derrick Henry. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Met and stopped by Alex Highsmith. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. Oh, he's going to run for it. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. That'll be the end of one in this AFC North battle. Couple of zeros on the board right now. More from Akershire Stadium after the break. Jordan Stout on now to punt. And he wants to hit his second effort just as well as he hit his first. Absolutely crushed his first punt. And here's another huge one. And this one gets out of bounds. It was pushing some distance towards the goal line, but gets out at the five. Drive starts out with a first and ten. He'll start with a give to Harris. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Hey, Range, Range is not an optional feature for middle linebackers in today's game. Uh -uh. It's a prerequisite for the job, and this guy definitely has it. Followed that play from the start, and he ended it with a loss. This is Harris on second down, and he's caught behind the line for a loss. This offense may want to try and disguise their run a little bit. I don't know if it's the old lineman's stance. I don't know if it's a cadence. I don't know what it is, but after two straight plays going backwards, this defense is all over. And this one only gets up to about the five-yard line. One yard on the run. It's going to be fourth and ten. This close to your own goal line, they really don't want to risk a sack. That means, well, one option. Run it and buy whatever breathing room you can. The Steelers set to punt it. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. This is away, and once again, he's caught all of it. Collects this at the 35. And he gets him something back on that return. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield. The Ravens headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And he's been one who has wowed the league and made a lot of fantasy owners very happy, too. You can see he's leading all quarterbacks in passing here in November. On first and ten, it's Jackson. 
Finds a man. Deontay Johnson has it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Out of the gun. Here's Jackson. Now him on the quick hitter. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Slot man motioned over. From the gun, a run for Henry. And somehow he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage before going down. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Running once more with Henry. And another stop along the line. Defense with a great couple of back-to-back -back reps. Extra man in the secondary for the Steelers. Third down coming up. Lamar now from the gun. Bails out of the pocket quick. He's running for it. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. Henry punches it in for the Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens get the game's first points here in the second. Derrick Henry, the touchdown. Justin Tucker to try the point after. Bad weather doesn't affect that extra point. It's good. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Calvin Austin on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. Now Pittsburgh's offense running back out for a new series. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Bronk. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! The Steelers can tie it up in the second after cutting into the lead. Najee Harris, the touchdown. Wow, just sensational speed from the back that time, Brock. He found a seam, got through it, and he was gone. You know, it's one thing, Kate, to have singles hitters, right? And, and you, you love those, and you appreciate guys right. that can get on base. But it's the home run hitters that are the difference makers, and what a big-time effort. Now Boswell on to send this away. Wallace with a return here. This return makes it up to the 25. The Ravens are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And I know we're normally discussing his work leading the passing game, but wow, we've really had to take note of what he's done on the ground. He's leaned into that part of his game early. Henry gets it here to start the drive. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop him behind the line. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. A draw now. This is Henry. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. This drive in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. From the gun, Jackson. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. The Ravens getting ready for the punt. For Daryl Patterson to return for the Steelers. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. And this one did hit at the 8, but took a big bounce and finished its journey in the end zone for a touchback. The Steelers and Najee Harris making their return to the field.
And he has run rough shot over them in this opening half. Pretty sure this is the exact kind of start that he was hoping to have here. And carried by Harris here to start the drive. This is ahead for about five. Give that tackle to Broderick Washington. Back to the line they go. It's second down. It's the two-minute warning now from Akrasher. The Steelers with a long field ahead. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Russ now from the gun. Throw secured by George Pickett. And he's downed after getting this up to the 41. Steelers working with a sense of urgency from the hurry-up clock, continuing to run. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. From the gun, it's Wilson. And that's incomplete, and he's happy to have that one fall compared to, well, the alternative. Looked like it was going to be picked there. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Russ is cooking again. He puts some air under this one, deep right. Big game downfield. And that's a Pittsburgh touchdown. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find Pater. Point after up and good from Boswell. And the Steelers break that tie and now lead by seven. Now Boswell on to send this away. On the return, here comes Justice Hill. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden Ratings Hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1. And make your case for who should get a boost. Gets this to Johnson. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. They put Flowers in motion right. Lamar off the play fake. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. Before we can get a snap on second down, they call timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Well, partner, I think this defense had enough. <laughs> this QB has been getting out of the pocket and doing damage with his legs, but not this time. Great pursuit, great effort, and they're able to wrap him up for the sack. Makes the grab in bounds, left side. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. New set of downs for him at the 38. First and 10, here's Jackson. Short pass brought in. And this one does not go far. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward. Keeps you on schedule and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Bateman hauls it in. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Now just before the break, a timeout taken by the offense. And they can try for some points going into the break. Ravens call in on Justin Tucker for the field goal. Ball on the right hash, the distance 43 yards. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick 
is a guarantee. All right, this is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. Back to throw it. And not a great choice on first down. It's incomplete, nearly intercepted, actually. So second down coming up. So we arrive at halftime here in Pittsburgh. The Steelers leading after two. Now it's down to Florida where Jonathan Coachman is sitting halftime speeches. They're right back out of the locker room and set to resume play with the third quarter. On the return, here comes Austin. Now bottling up as he gets the return to the 30. They're out and set, first and ten. Shotgun snap for Wilson. Got Williams and it's complete. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39 yard line. Nice spot here for the offense, it's second and one. From the 39. It's taken in by Washington. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And that's a Steelers first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Wilson now from the gun. Gets this one to Cordero Patterson. And he takes it inside the 35 before heading out. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Ross off the play fake. Escapes the pocket. He tucks it and takes off. And he wisely avoids contact, sliding down there, and that play good enough for a first. And that play goes for 19, and a new set of downs. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that, actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play, and denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a thrower for something. He brings up second down. Throwing again is Russ. Caught by Fryermuth. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on the route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after this offense in position now. It's first and goal. Wilson looking to throw. And he has the catch. Gets both feet in. That's a touchdown. The Steelers grow the lead coming out of halftime. George Pickens the touchdown. Right on the edge of the goal line for first and goal. And I don't know about you, partner, but that surprised me that they just threw it in. No attempts at running it. Yeah, I think it is so hard for these defenders. you got to be so keyed in and physically, you know you've got to stop that run first. So a first down pass play can and certainly was effective. That one splits the uprights. And the Steelers drive their lead to 11. Now Boswell on to send this away. He'll now to return it. He stopped on the return of the 27. The visitors and Derrick Henry making their way back out on offense. And he is the NFL leader in rushing yards as we work through November. He's hoping an excellent season can continue as such here. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Third quarter starts with a run from Henry. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. 
Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Throwing now on first down, it's Jackson. This one's caught, it's Andrews near the sideline. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. Second and six coming up here. They motion Bateman over right. From the 44 here on second down. Complete to Flowers. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. That's good for seven yards. And that's good for a Ravens first down. Receiver in motion, headed right. And he scampers ahead and gets two on the carry. Well, that's a tough one because you could see the beginnings of what looked like an explosive play. Let's give some credit here, Kate, to the defense. A great job to bottle him up before it came to fruition. It's Henry on the counter. And he's swallowed up in the middle. No gain on the run. Tackled by the venerable Cameron Hayward. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. Out of the gun. Here's Jackson. He's got Andrews. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. They get 27 on the play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. Out of the gun, Henry. And he'll go down here at the 16. Even four that time, so six to go on second down. They put a receiver in motion here left. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. Nine-yard pickup, and it sets him up with first and goal. They'll run here with Henry, and he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. On second down, here's Henry again, and he's able to fight this down to the two. Call it eight yards, and it's third and goal. So we're through three here. It's the Ravens' ball. They come in trailing, but that lead is within reach. They've held them out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. Man in motion here. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Staring at fourth down, the Ravens will go with Justin Tucker to try for three. This only a chip shot from the right hash. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. This is a case of, well, just get what you can on the way out the door, Kate. It's already out of reach. Just take the three, let your kicker get some points, and make it a hair closer in the box score. Patterson now to return it. Oh, he's showing some burst on his return. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. The Steelers' offense headed out. They've ripped off four straight wins, and if this lead holds, that's going to be five before we know it. The Steelers with some very good field position as they get set first and ten. First play, they go quick out to the left, complete. And this one doesn't go far. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down.
Running behind center with Harris. And an opening doesn't materialize. He's cut near the line of scrimmage. A less than ideal third and eight here. Russ looking to throw. And down he goes. The Ravens defense gets it done. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. They'll bring out the punter here. He's been hitting it well so far. This is another big one. And something on the return, but not much, as it still ends inside the 20. Got every single bit of that one, didn't he? Over 70 yards on the punt. And the Ravens will take over with a lot of field ahead of them. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Lamar now from the gun. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. That's an incredible sack, Kate, from them. It does more than just back them up a mile on second down. There's an immediate sense of desperation that comes from an offense. You can just feel it as a quarterback in the huddle. When you take a sack like that, now they got to dig themselves out of this hole. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Trying again, following the set. This is cut by Isaiah Likely. And he reaches the 17-yard line as he's hauled down. He's driving some serious trouble. It's third and 12. From the gun, Jackson. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, look at this. Here he goes. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. Things looking totally different after that last play. It's first and 10 inside the opposing 30. Tight end in motion right. First down. Here's Lamar. Gets this one to Andrews. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. Second and six coming up here. We'll get to Henry on the inside handoff. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Driving dire straights, it's third and nine. You've got a man in motion. Looking to throw. He's on the move. He's running with it. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. They have themselves another first and 10. The tight end going in motion right. On first and 10, it's Jackson. He'll get this to Henry. They will take this into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens down by only two in the fourth. Derrick Henry, the touchdown. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Jackson's throwing for it. Nothing doing on that two-point opportunity. A fail on the conversion. Well, they took their shot at the tie, but they'll need to manufacture another score in the time remaining now as that two-point try is unsuccessful. It becomes a little bit tougher to punch it in for two when that defense knows what's on the line, too. That's a spot where their hand was forced after the touchdown. They have to do their best to surprise them with the call. Easier said, Kate, than done. Now the offense getting set to go for the Steelers. Their lead cut down inside a field goal, so points imperative here to get some breathing room. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And he'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down.
From the gun, it's Wilson. Falls to the ground out left, incomplete. George Pickens, the intended target. And it's going to be second down. Russ is going to cook here. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. A third down run with Harris. And he has seven on that run as we're down to the two-minute warning. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. The visitors ready for their next series, let out on offense by their quarterback. And this is the type of game that's going to get people talking when people look at the numbers that he's posted running with it. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Throwing now. Short throw, tipped. Oh, but he's still got it. And he gets it up close to the 25 before he's out of bounds. Second and six coming up here. Now to throw. To the ground it goes. That's incomplete. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, they're not open very long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. Turning to Henry on third. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Clock's still running as the Ravens try hurrying everyone off. Andrews with the catch. They only needed a couple, and that is what they got. Not the most impressive gain, but a big one as they get the first. To throw. Doesn't make the connection. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Here he is to throw. Forced that to his right. He's on the move. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Clock's still running as the Ravens try hurrying everyone up. Flushed out of the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. And he's tackled for a short game. Clock's still running as the Ravens try hurrying everyone up. Pushes this one towards the sideline. He's got it, and the feet are inbounds, too. They'll keep this drive moving after a big 18-yard pickup on fourth down. Offense to the line for first down, conscious of that single timeout they've got remaining. Has him on the quick hitter, and they're going to bring him down at the 36. Timeout taken by the Ravens. That is their final one. The Steelers calling their first timeout. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Justin Tucker out for the field goal. A lot of pressure hovering over this kick. Ball spotted on that right hash, 53 yards out. It has enough leg, and it's good from deep. And they're going to take the lead inside the final minute. That kick was a heck of a distance, but with the adrenaline that you know he had flowing through him in that moment, it helped give him all the drive he needed to send the game winner through. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Looking to throw it. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. That's grabbed inside the 30. Now a timeout's close. Not their last one, though, so they can try another play before setting up for that field goal. And 
that one is good! And that, folks, is your game winner! Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. So after some careful consideration, they're going to go ahead and decline the penalty. Now Boswell on to send this away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. One final shot here. Try and push it deep downfield. And this one falls incomplete. No miracles on the final drive today. This game is over. To make a check and a win column for the Steelers. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end. But their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with the victory. So that'll do it for this one. With Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Pittsburgh.